Okay, I'm removing this little dust collecting chute so that you can see on this saw there's a label right here and it says danger to avoid injury do not feed material into cutting tool from this end all right now remember we have this tool in the out rip position okay so we've set this up right now to feed our work in from this side if we do a wrong way feed which is from this side kind of like you do when you're cross cutting and this is what confuses people they cross cut this way so they take a guess without learning this tool they take a guess on which way they're going to do a rip cut and of course they're going to cut it from the same side the handles on manufacturer knew that and they put a label on there warning you against that let's think about what happens when that hap when you feed it in this way blade spinning this way so it's you're pushing your work in the same direction that the blade's spinning. So what's the blade going to do? It's going to grab onto the wood. It's going to pull it this way. It's going to eject it. And it's going to be parallel to the fence. Your hand's going to be on here. It's going to happen suddenly and violently. And it's going to pull your hand right in there. There's no guards on this side. You, can't, you won't have your anti-kickback call set up on this side. The nose of the guard that holds the piece down is over on that side, and that protects your hand from going in. So a wrong way feed, extremely dangerous. Never do it. It happens, and I think that's one of the main reasons people say, I would never rip on a radial arm saw, because they don't know what they're doing. They haven't taken the time to learn the tool. They took a guess. They ripped on the wrong side. The piece went in, it shot out like a missile, it scared them to death, and they never want to do it again.